Richard Rainwater is the stellar financier of our generation. Very, very few things Richard did in his life didn't really work out well. It was just a question of how well did they work out? Were they 100x? Were they 5x? But a lot of x's. The art of the deal, Donald Trump, excuse me, Richard Rainwater. Once he gets into something, he's 125% there with great passion. It's an old cliche, but part of being good at anything, part of being a good manager at anything is to love what you do. I'm not sure there's ever been anybody that was more excited about doing deals than Richard. Lots of people have to compete with other people who are really killer bright. He finds ways to bring them on his team. He had an extraordinary ability to judge good people and then had the genius to let them go. We like you, we're backing you, we like the deal, run with it. If I had to summarize any one aspect of Richard, it, it was the way he would relate to people at their core. When you're with somebody and you're talking to them, be with them. And if you do that, then good things happen. I mean, he, he has a way of making people believe they can do things that they themselves didn't think they could do and then people go out and do it. One of the things he says is that um, you have to look at scenarios A through Z, and most people only will look at the middle, they'll look at the most probable outcomes, and he, and he says you gotta focus on, as he says, friggin' Z. Z is the one where it's the, the big returns. Richard would say A leads to C, and that could uh, compromise F, but if we do L, the deal will work. And he was always right. He had another saying. The first criteria we have for investing money is to never lose money. The second criteria is to pay attention to the first criteria. Richard would always say, uh, wherever there's chaos, there's opportunity. When everybody's running away from an opportunity, this is where the chaos is. There's got to be a nugget in here somewhere. And when the tide turns, not only will we have found something very interesting, but the, uh, the appreciation potential will be huge. He brought to the job every day, or at least every day I witnessed it, uh, a sort of a whimsy and a joy about what he was doing. And when we first bought uh, this office building in Fort Worth that we owned, we rented a whole floor from ourselves, but we only needed like a third of the floor. We had Frisbee games, we had golf courses, we, we'd take you know kids' bowling toys and have bowling contests. I mean, Richard would spontaneously burst in your office at two in the afternoon and say, okay, we're having a bowling tournament over on the other side of the office now. Everybody was there who was working on very serious things, but he had a way of just making sure everybody was part of the family and at any given moment would have to drop things and, and enjoy life a little bit. I always stay in New York uh, at the Regency Hotel and I ask him to come over for breakfast. So there's Henry Kissinger at this table and James Robinson of American Express at this table, all up in their three-piece suits. Richard shows up in a baseball cap and a T-shirt. He was just there for breakfast. So there's nothing about appearances that's important to Richard. It's only about results. Richard has never sought self-recognition or aggrandizement. For the balance of his career, nobody knew who Richard Rainwater was. Richard should have received this award 20 years ago, and then 15 years ago, and 10 years ago, but every time any of us proposed it, he would always say, no, there's somebody else who's more deserving. I, I haven't done that much. I mean, I, I, my, I've been lucky. The Arbuckle Award is designed to inspire people by example, uh, and I think Richard's example is one that inspires all of us. The decision as to who would get the award this year, once Richard said he would do it, that was the easiest decision ever made by the Stanford Business School. I mean, look at his business history and look at the people that he's been working with. And these friendships have lasted for this 40 years, which I think is something all of us would say is probably one of the most valuable things, if not the most valuable thing, we got out of our degree at Stanford Business School. From a personal standpoint, my life's been tremendously enhanced by knowing Richard. He's definitely a life enhancer for those people that he comes in contact with. Richard, in creating companies and doing all these deals, brought great opportunity to so many people. I don't suspect there's anyone who contributed more and helped Richard more than Richard helped them. That's truly a great accolade.